Hello twin, how are you? My name is Martin and I'm going to be your teacher today. Remember that the first part of the class will be on YouTube and the second part will be on Zoom with your teacher. So let's start. Let's go to the virtual classroom and I'm going to show you today's class, which is class number 11. Okay, class 11. This is the class and the first thing that we're going to do is the handout called Earth Explorer. Okay, Earth Explorer is the first thing that we're going to do. So, let's go there. Okay, so this is the handout and it is a story. It is a story whose characters are Fizz, this is Fizz, Kit, the boy, and Bandit, the cat, okay? And what do you have to do? You have to listen and complete the gaps, okay? Entonces, vamos a escuchar a esta historia y tienen que completar los espacios. And don't worry, because I will play the recording twice. No se preocupen que voy a reproducir el audio dos veces. Ok, so let's do this. Unit 4C, Exercise 1. Earth Explorer. Listen and read. Okay, I will play it one more time. One, Earth Explorer. Listen and read. <laughs> it's very cold on your planet. Is your planet hot? Yes, it is. Do you live in houses? No. We don't. We live underground. <laughs> it is a house. Do you go to work? Yes, I do. I go by spaceboard. What time do you start? At 26 o'clock. There are 72 hours in our day. What do you have for lunch? We eat bat's legs. Yummy! That's disgusting. Life on your planet is cool. What time do you go to bed? Very late. But we don't have beds on my planet. We have bags. Look, there it is. It's beautiful. Yes, it's very nice. All my friends are there. Well... Go and visit them! Okay, I really like this story. ¿Pudieron completarla? So, let's check. So, let's zoom in. And it says, 
Brr, it's very cold on your planet. Is your planet hot? And what does Fizz say? Very good, he says. Yes, it is very good. Picture number two. Do you live in houses? Kit asks. And what does Fizz say? Very good. No, we don't. We live underground. Es decir, bajo tierra. Ha! He is a mouse. Bandit things, okay? Very good. Picture number three. Do you go to work? Kit asks. And Fizz, what does he say? Very good. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's... I go by space balls. Okay, so here we have, look at the picture. Fizz going to work by space balls. Okay, this is a space board. Very good. What time, what time... Okay, well done. What time do you start? At 26 o'clock. There are 72 hours in a day. Okay, picture number four. What do you... What do you... Okay, very good. What do you have for lunch? And he says... We, very good, we eat bat's legs, yummy, and Bandit says, that's disgusting, he doesn't like bat's legs, very good, picture number five, life on your planet is cool, and, very good, what time, what time do you go to bed? Very late, but, but we, very good, but we don't have beds on my planet. We have bags. And look at the picture. Here, here it is, Fizz sleeping in a bag. Very good. On the last picture, picture number six, it says, look, there it is. And we have Fizz pointing at his planet. Kit says, it's beautiful. Yes, it's... Okay, it's very nice. Very good, and Fizz misses his planet. All my friends are there. And Bandit, who doesn't like Fizz apparently, says, Well, go and visit them. Okay, very good. Now I want you to take a highlighter. Les voy a pedir que tomen un resaltador ahora. And let's highlight two questions. Y vamos a resaltar dos preguntas. The first one, this one, do you live in houses? Do you live in houses? And the second question, this one, do you go to work? Do you go to work? Okay, so again, do you live in houses and do you go to work? Muy bien, y vamos a trabajar con estas dos preguntas ahora y para ello les voy a pedir que vayan al aula virtual. So, so, let's go to the virtual classroom. And let's work with the handout called Yes, No Questions. Entonces, para trabajar con esas dos preguntas vamos a ir 
I'll hand out Kese Shama yes, no questions. Okay? So, this is the handout and it says asking yes, no questions important role. So, we are going to highlight this and this as well. Y recuerden también, como siempre les indico que si tuvieron la posibilidad de imprimir este handout, no deben doblarlo cuando lo pegan en la carpeta. Ok, so it says, asking yes no questions. Do you know what a yes no question is? ¿Alguno sabe qué es una yes no question? Ok. Una yes no question es una pregunta cuya respuesta puede ser o yes o no. Es decir, o sí o no. Let's take a look at these two examples. We have, do you go to work? Do you go to work? Es decir, ¿vas a trabajar? Y la respuesta puede ser o sí o no. Recuerden que estas dos preguntas están sacadas de la historia con la que trabajamos recién. So, do you go to work? Yes, I. And what was the answer here? Yes, I. Very good. Yes, I do. I go by spaceport. Very good. And what about this second question here? Do you live in houses? Do you live in houses? Es decir, ¿viven en casas? Y otra vez, ¿cuántas posibilidades en cuanto a las respuestas tenemos? O sí o no. Y en este caso era, no, we... Very good. No, we don't. We live underground. Okay? So, now let me ask you this. What do these two questions have in common? Además de que estas dos preguntas puedan ser respondidas o con sí o con no. ¿Qué tienen en común? Ambas preguntas, además del sujeto you. ¿Qué pueden ver al principio de ambas preguntas? Ok, very good. We have the word do. Ok, entonces al comienzo de ambas preguntas tenemos la palabra do, el auxiliar do. ¿Y para qué creen que nos sirve este auxiliar? Do you go to work? Do you live in houses? What are we doing here? ¿Qué estamos haciendo acá? Ok, very good. We are asking. Estamos preguntando. Entonces, vamos a decir... Fíjense que tenemos nuestra regla... Abajo el handout, and it says, we use, es decir, usamos, and what do we use, que usamos. Very good. We use do when we want to ask questions, ask questions, es decir, cuando queremos hacer preguntas about I, you, we, and they. Es decir, cuando nuestros sujetos son I, you, we and they, vamos a utilizar, vamos a usar el auxiliar do al inicio de esas preguntas. Ok, so remember that if you have any questions, please ask your teacher in the chat. Ok, entonces, 
Para repasar, supongamos que tenemos alguno de estos sujetos. I, you, we, or they. And the words study. So, I study, you study, we study, or they study. Es decir, yo estudio, vos estudiás, nosotros estudiamos, ellos estudian. Y queremos hacer de esto una pregunta. Porque así no es una pregunta. I study es una afirmación. Yo estudio. O we study también es una afirmación. Nosotros estudiamos. Entonces, supongamos que queremos hacer de esto una pregunta. ¿Ok? We want to make a question. What do we have to add? ¿Qué deberíamos agregarle a nuestra oración? Ok, very good. Como dijimos antes, entonces vamos a necesitar del auxiliar to. Do I study? Do you study? Do we study? O do they study? Es decir, estudio, estudias, estudiamos. Entonces, vamos a necesitar del auxiliar do. Y recuerden que las respuestas a estas preguntas puede ser o sí o no. So, this is a question for you all. Esa buena pregunta para que respondan en el chat. Do you study? Very good. And the answer is yes, I do. You do study. Very good. Ok. Ahora sí, vamos a volver al aula virtual y seguimos nuestra clase por Zoom.